Going on another test drive here. Check this out. It's a 1983 Pontiac Bonneville. This is a station wagon. And it's in really good shape. I mean, it does have some paint flaws. It is 83, so it's going to have some kind of issues here and there. It does have the factory 305. It's original motor. Power steering, power brakes. It's like we put a new AC Delco battery in here. And, of course, we got it priced $99.50. She looks sweet with the disc brakes in the front, aftermarket set of wheels, and it's got a wood look all the way around. Be sure to check out our website, maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available, and throughout this test drive, of course, we'll be picking out the flaws. I just need you to hit subscribe and share. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, checking out our door panel, man. That thing looks clean. Coming across the dash. It's got the wood look everywhere. Interior is nice. All the way to the back is in good shape. Interior on this thing is great. Somebody is really taking care of this ride. Place your bets. You think the horn works? Radio's jamming. Sweet. Super quiet, starting right up. We've got gas. We're charging. I'm waiting on the temperature. Oh, pressure's up. There we go. Clock is still working. Showing 84,000 miles. That tilt is working. Wipers are working. I mean, am I on off? I am on off there. I guess all we got left is the air. It's not working, unfortunately. I tried. I wanted it to be cool today. It's blowing hard and it's trying. I think, uh, a little bit of service on it, it might work. But for today, we see horn is loud and it works good. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay guys, we're getting ready to take off down the road here. Of course, anything I see, you'll know about it. We'll see how this little station wagon rides out. Hit reverse. Neutral drive. Oh, got some uh, rehydration there. This thing's pretty, pretty smooth as I'm pulling out. The little switch that I had to deal with over here wasn't working at first. I think it was losing a connection, but now it's perfect. Waiting on the red light. Once it changes, we'll have an open road here. Get a little breeze blowing through the car. Here we go. Rolling out. Speedometer is coming up on the dash here. And it seems to be pretty correct. This thing is so smooth, perfectly straight going down the road. Tight steering, back in our brakes, super smooth. Back in the throttle. She's no powerhouse, but she's got plenty of pickup. All you really need in a station wagon. I've seen some fast wagons before though. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is gonna be a good daily driver. Go ahead, use going. Go ahead. Yeah, you done waited too long now. There you go. <laughs> she was pulling out anyways. Dang. We got some serious drivers here in Hendersonville, I can tell you that. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and pull over here to the parking lot. This is a piece of cake in this one. Easy to drive, just silky smooth. Everything you'd expect from grandma's car, I believe. That's what it feels like. 
So yeah, let's pull in this parking lot here. We'll light up the undercarriage. I may have to work on getting a new light this week, actually. The one that I got has been like flickering and it's lasted a long time. I mean, I guess I can't complain getting a few years out of a light. It just may be time to spend another $20 and get a new one. <laughs> With that being said, here comes the next shots, guys. I'll be back. Okay, we're heading out of here, guys. Getting ready to take off and head back to the car lot. Got y'all on the head cam on the wide screen. So temperature gauge on this one is not coming up. It's just all the way, all the way down. It's not working at all. Oil pressure still around forty. Oh man, it got all cloudy out here all of a sudden. Hopefully, we don't have no storms coming through today. Checking our brakes here, they feel smooth. Let that guy get way ahead. He was just cruising about five under the speed limit. Getting into the throttle now. Seems to be shifting out smooth. Like I said, this is no powerhouse. It's just your cruiser type car. Caught the slow pokes again. <laughs> the tag says cool whip. <laughs> That's funny. Cool whip. Isn't that a family guy commercial? Or episode? He's like whip. Halfway up the road here. Nice little bump. I'm all pointed out. Right here. Smooth as can be. I 
like how the turn signals are nice and bright and clear right there in the middle on both sides working and it looks like we pulled up to this light right as it let out so it's going to be a little bit i'm going to go ahead and skip over to picking out the flaws that's going to be here at the end of the video and uh if you don't mind hit subscribe that helps me out quite a bit we're about to pull back into the lot i'll see you in the next video later guys Alright, we've got our open front and the back and we're going to walk around this ride. Anything I see you'll know about it. Again, there's detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com. Let's go ahead and run down all around this ride. Right here in the corner, you can see it's a little bent out. The sun's kind of pushed that out, I believe. grill and the headlights look good you have a little chip up here on top down this lower portion tires are in good shape little rust bubble at the bottom of the door little spot here in the back little bubbles in the corner Missing a plastic piece in this corner. Back to midsection. Somebody's rewrapped this. You can see the wrap. Mm, it's got some little flaws in it. Go over the top section. Front windshield looks good. Little chips on your pillar. Little spots there. Light scratches on the chrome here. The vent window does work on this one. A little hazy there. Chips in the corner. Chips there. Looking over our roof, it is kind of thin, light little scratches. Thin spots up here. Also between the rails there. Coming up around the back here. Carpet on this one looks great. There we go. Got to spare the jack. Coming up with it. Well, before we do that, let's look around the edges. Now coming up, light little scratches. Very easy to shut though. Chips in the corners, coming around the back. Chips on the Pontiac. Scratch, nope, not a scratch, I'm sorry. Looked like a scratch, but that's where they put the uh, vinyl. It's all the way down, it's just where it meets. I was wrong. There's another little piece on that side too, coming down with the back window. And it's locked. The vinyl around the 
license plate. It's definitely chipped up. It's not perfect. The back window looks good. A little flat on that wing there. And coming down this uh, lower portion here. It's got a couple little rust bubbles. Got some rust in the back here. Dings on the trim. Rust back here. Mid section. Cuff there, there are two bubbles up here. A little bit of pitting. Chips. Ding right here in your trim. Chips. And it's flat on top. Let's go ahead and open her up and check out that interior. Door panels are awesome. They're nice and clean. Same with your jams, little chips in the corner there. Carpet's got a few little stains here and there, your seat. It's got a rip over here in the corner. Chrome looks good. Lots of room in the back. Turn the key. That easy. Starts right up. Insulation definitely has to tear a little shred. It looks pretty good. The edge is solid. Coming on down with the hood. Uh, that's pretty good. Chips. Spot there, that come right off. All right, guys, detailed pictures, finance, and shipping is at maplemotors.com. It's like a little ding there. A chip. A chip. Be sure to check all that information out. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. That'll help me out quite a bit. And of course, I'm gonna head back to the lot, probably grab another ride. I do appreciate it. See you later.